No one could have believed last February what was ahead of us. Indeed, we didn't know that there would be lengthy lockdowns, that there'd be three spikes of the virus, that our way of living would alter, that our churches would close. And yet, here we are as we come to the end of 2021 and the diocese is in good shape. You, as members of the Tyli Asaf, answered the call to sustain the life of the church. We'd like to say thank you for your generosity and for your stewardship of the gift of money. We've recognised that the life of the church depends on us all and in no small measure through your own generosity. So, diolch yn fawr iawn, diolch o galam and every blessing now for the future. I'm really glad to have this opportunity to say a huge thank you to everybody that's helped us get through this pandemic and all the lockdowns in such good financial shape. I want to say a special thank you to anybody that's involved in church finance in any way for your huge faith and courage in how you've approached the challenges of the last 18 months. I think we all took a huge deep breath when we realised that we were moving into lockdown and that our churches were going to have to be closed. But goodness, what a response we've had from people across the Diocese of St Asaph, from people that have moved their giving online, particularly using the, the Gift Direct scheme, to our church treasurers who've worked together faithfully to ensure that all churches were able to meet their financial obligations and survive and thrive into the future. I want to say thank you for your generosity in being able to learn how to do new things or to do all things in a new way, for the way in which we adapted to doing our worship online, whether that was in video form or broadcasting, the generosity of people in giving their time to learn new skills, in then having to learn new ways of being able to facilitate worship for people in their own homes. Our churches were closed, but we were able to continue with our worship throughout the pandemic. And the same is true of the way in which we looked after families during that time, the way in which we had to conduct funerals and visit bereaved families in extraordinary difficult circumstances. Thank you for your generosity, for the way in which you went the extra mile and made all the difference in that most challenging of time. We're at St John's Church in Rosa Medri and we've been working with the local community here to create a community garden. Thanks to the generosity of people from across the diocese, we received funding to build these raised beds. We worked with a play team from the land in Plasmatic who actually built these beds and the children from Plasmatic came over and planted fruit and veg and herbs in these beds to create the community garden. And they, along with members of the community, will now look after the beds and use this as a great space for them to meet up and enjoy the great outdoors. And because of you, projects like this have happened across our diocese during such a difficult time. It means so much to people and it's really made a difference in our communities. Just to say a really big thank you to you all for your generosity. It's your generosity that's enabled things like this shore to shore to take place. Paying for these t-shirts or some of the publicity material that we've done, the freebies we've handed out. But it's your generosity that's enabled that. And the effects are that the church has been seen to be out of its buildings on the seafront on this North Wales coast. We've been able to collect litter and that's been a tremendous impact to some of the local residents and it's all due to your generosity. So thank you. Giving to the church is giving to more than a building, isn't it? It's giving to the community of people who then serve their community through doing activities like holding friendship lunches and holding these, the teas and the coffee evenings and things that we hold for the community at large. Without everybody's contribution, then we wouldn't be here and we wouldn't be seen as a church of people 
who do good things when it is needed. So thank you very much for everything that everybody gives, however large or small, be it money or be it time. So from the bottom of my heart, I thank you all for your faith, your trust and your courage in everything that you've done and that I know you'll continue to do over the coming months and years for our church and for the Lord God that we all serve. Thank you. Thank you for your generosity. Thank you for your generosity. Thank you to you for your generosity. So thank you very much everybody for all your giving. It is greatly appreciated. Thank you. Thank you for everything that has happened. And now we begin to look forward to 2022. And we pray that God will bless us as we move into the future and as we seek to be followers of Jesus in a new way with a new future. Amen.